most beginners tend to see collision or how to handle collision as a little bit something like this. They imagine that their object is moving around the around the pixel space in their game, and the the logic they need to imp uh, the logic they need to create is to say, okay, when my object is colliding with the wall like this, move it so it is no longer colliding. Or when I am colliding, stop moving. But they, as you can see, just by me demonstrating it and moving it around, once you're colliding, it's already too late. You've already done something that your character was not supposed to do, and you've got to work about reversing it. Now, it's possible to get into a situation where, you, like, during mid-frame, you've collided, you move your character all the way back out of the wall like this, and... By the time the frame actually renders, it looks like you never collided with the wall. It's possible to do that, but it's not really an intuitive way of handling collision in games, in my opinion. Um, the way I always handle collision um, in platform games, um, in really more or less any game actually, is to say, if I'm about to collide. Now, as you know, we've set up um, in our code these horizontal speed and vertical speeds um, variables that have worked out how far we're about to move in the next frame. So, say, and you know we're moving about four pixels a frame uh, when we're moving left and right. So, say we're here when we're three pixels away from the wall. And now, if we're pressing right, all of our code has worked out that we're about to move four pixels to the right. So, what we want to do instead for collision is say, are we about to hit the wall to our right? So as four pixels to the right of us where we're about to move, our current coordinates plus our current speed, is that area free? And the game will check here and say, oh no, it's not free. And since it's not free, what we do then is we set our horizontal speed to zero because we basically hit the wall, but we also move ourselves as close as possible to the wall, because that speed still exists, that horizontal speed of 4 still exists, we just can't use all of it without hitting the wall. Um, so we're going to, instead of using 4 of it here, we would use 3 of it. And so we move 1 pixel at a time towards the wall until we can't move any further without hitting the wall, and then we reduce our speed to 0. And that causes us to have a pixel-perfect collision with the wall. And we do the same thing moving downwards. And that, more or less, is how our collision system is going to work.